Ugh, it smells <laughs> like fucking jizz. I'll be the one to Ew. decide that. Hello, cute people of Earth. It's Jeffrey. And I'm Jamie. And, and this, this is Upgraded. A show that explores the future of self-care. Is self-care when you're born into an exquisite body, spread joy, and identify as a unicorn? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, then I think I'm done. What am I doing this week, Jeffrey? I'll give you a hint. Ooh. It involves your two favorite bodily functions. Kicking and excessive eating. No. Sex and sex with my anime body pillow. No. Sex with my anime body pillow and sex with both of my anime body pillows. No. Jizz and poop. Jeffrey, honestly, you know me better than I know myself. Wait, who's come? Who's shit? Today we're getting you a bull semen hair mask and a nightingale dropping facial. Blah. A nightingale's dropping facial is supposed to tighten and lift skin better than Botox. And the bull semen hair treatment? It's for a little out of shine. Yeah, it sounds like I could accomplish that same thing by just like tripping at a petting zoo. Trust me, you can. Listen. So like not to kink shame, but what celebrities are letting a bird just like loosen its bowels all over their face? Does this face look familiar? Tom Cruise has been getting nightingale poop facial since as early as 2012. In addition, former Spice Girl, current fashion girl Victoria Beckham, and One Direction member Harry Styles. So, so a bird pooped on Harry Styles and he was just like, let's make the best of it. Actually, nightingale dropping facials have been going on since the 17th century in Japan and were popular among geishas. Ooh. It's rare to find a salon who does them because the droppings are pretty rare. Exclusive poopies. What about the bull cum? Bull semen has become a pretty common addition to your everyday hair treatment. Mm. And some people drink it. Bulls are literally everywhere. I can't escape bulls. That's why I'm allergic to bullshit. For as low as seven bucks, you can have a bull squirt in your hair and it strengthens the shaft. Wait, hair has a shaft? You better believe it. This sounds like a prank. Who's done it? Lindsay Lohan. But Lindsay Lohan was in Herbie Fully Loaded where her leading man was a literal car, so can she really be trusted? She was also in Mean Girls. Uh -huh. And is currently living her best life in Dubai. So wait, are there any like risks to putting jizz and poop on my head? Not past challenging your gag reflex. Won't be a problem. I've been vomited on by both a man and a man's dog in a sexual context this year. Neither time as a, hey, let's try something sort of thing. Both times as a, whoa, weird mistake. Better call it now kind of thing. Let's get our before picture. Time to go to Leisurely Spa in Studio City to smear stuff from random animals' holes all over your head. Hello. Hi, I'm Sharona. We love having you here. So you're gonna be slathering bird shit on my face today, is yeah, that right? Absolutely. Oh, okay, it's great. Very good for you. Please explain how. I'm extremely skeptical. Yeah, it's very good because it helps the pigmentation of the skin and it brightens the face. You get really, 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 really good benefits with it. What is in it that is helps? It's toxic. It's literally yeah. like nightingale poop. Oh. I would have guessed flamingo poop. So you can't just let any bird shit on your face. That's not Okay. Just the nightingales. It has peptides in it, <laughs> so it's really good for wrinkles. Good enough for me. <laughs> Just know that the nightingales help with it. I'm not gonna math time. Oh my god. <laughs> We're high on math right now. Yeah. Where do you get the bird poop from? The bird poop comes from a place in Chinatown. Just a poop factory? <laughs> like a so, facility that they oh, all just absolutely. tie them by their necks and they just well, shit no. out onto the floor and little children are scraping up poop to put on your face, Jamie. I bet they're not even given health insurance. This is insane. What happens if they get a broken wing? I'm sure they feed them a lot too because then they make them poop a lot more, you know? It smells kind of funny. Like poop? It looks like somebody's creaming a dash is as well. Can I have a little like. sniffy? Is that the poop? Ooh. Oh, that's about on par with my shit, I think. <laughs> you know, shit is shit. I guess you could say that. All right, well, let's slather some shit on my let's face. Let's do it. Yeah. Step one, steam and cleanse. Wait, is it bird shit yet? Not yet. It's like you, one must be warned before there is shit on the <laughs> yes, face. Yes, yes, of course. I'll warn you, I promise. Consent critical to <laughs> shit on the face. 
got this like huge vape on my face. What is in there? Is it like... Oh, there's nothing in there. It's just water. It's just good to open the pores. And... So we're getting vaped, we're getting lubed, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get shit on. Mm -hmm. Great. Kinky. We're gonna extract the pimples out oh of your pores. Oh my god! That yes. sounds not unlike an exorcism. Popping pimples is fun. I love watching the goop come out. Me too, I love watching it. Yeah. There we go. There's a pimple I popped in like late 2012 that I think about minimum once a week. There Ooh. it goes, right there. Sealed up pus. Ow. So wait, are we just gonna fill all these gaping pores with like bird shit now? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. I'm mixing the nightingale poop with an enzyme. So are you like activating the poop? Activating the poop. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, the poop is coming alive. <laughs> oh my god, it's shit on my face. Great. <laughs> it is near my nose and it is pungent. <laughs> and people pay to have this done. Oh, absolutely. This is not some sort of punishment that would happen to you in prison. No, it's like an aphrodisiac for the skin. What color is it? It's kind of brown. Oh, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. It kind of smells like old cereal. I'm frantically trying to justify having shit all over me. So I'm gonna put a hot towel on your face just to help push it into the skin more. So we want the shit to remain in my skin. Yes. There's just bird shit being put into my face for the rest of my life. So now I'm going to take it off. You can really smell it when it's activated <laughs> and just crawling around your skin. I'm just gonna start walking around and asking people to smell my face. Maybe they'll like it. And then they'll like you and you get true love. <laughs> Wait, is that the meth pipe? Yes. So now I'm going to use the high frequency. I feel like this always ends with people wanting to electrocute my face. <laughs> so what is this doing? It takes away all the bacteria on the skin. Kills it. Couldn't we have prevented that bacteria on my skin by not putting shit on it? No, that will... Help. Oh, okay. Now I'm applying some active serum. This helps to push products into the skin as well as helps with acne. So we're just trying to lock the poop into my face. Mm -hmm. I'm putting on some sunscreen right now to protect you. And voila, you're all done. Wow. How do you feel? I feel like a bird. <laughs> Jamie, Hello. how was it? I got a little souvenir here. I got a little bit of poop on the neck. It was extremely stinky. Pimples were popped. Did she pop some pimples? Yes, she also electrocuted my face, which I wasn't expecting, but turned out being pretty dope. How does it look? I mean, there's actually kind of a lot of like crumbles of poop. I think you're almost done. You look amazing. Thank you. I get my horn back. Ugh. Just lie back down. Finally. Would you do it again? Would you get this procedure done again? Of course I would. That was the nastiest, nasty thing. It's on the secret menu of spa treatments because no one wants it. Well, I'm ready to get cum in my hair. Yeah, let's go get some cum in your hair. Hello. Hi. Hi. Cody. Hey. Nice to meet you, Cody. So what we're putting in my hair is not cum that I've encountered before. Hopefully not. <laughs> what kind of cum are we putting on there? So basically today okay. we're going to be using this bull semen used as a hair treatment to strengthen the hair, give you shine, correct those ends, make it feel less dry. So someone cranked off a bull somewhere put it in a little jar, and then sent it to you. Is that ethical? Fine. From my own my, my own reasons, I'm going to say yes. It's vegan, huh? Not if it comes from an animal. <laughs> right, no, yeah, bull semen is not for vegans. Fortunately, I will literally eat garbage out of a trash it's can. True. The bull semen is, I guess, up to your ethics. And I'm gonna assume it was consensual. I mean, the cow got an orgasm. Like. Had to have, I mean, hello. So I just want to like confirm that this is like actual jism. Ugh, it smells like <laughs> fucking jizz! <laughs> I'll be the one to decide Ew. that. Oh, 100% it's jizz. I feel like they, I gotta okay. give it just a little Just sip. give it a sip. Oh! How did it taste? How does it taste? Salty as fuck! Could you imagine? 
2017, drink cow cum. I'm gonna start by clarifying your hair. So what this is gonna do is I'm going to get rid of all the impurities in your hair. Okay, what, what's impure about my hair right now? Product buildup, natural oils. Not enough cum. Not enough cum, but we're getting to that. I will say I don't have jizz in my hair very frequently because I have reflexes like a cat and I'm like a good dodger. Good for you. I'm going to actually mix the jizz on. Wait, is that the jizz? It's the jizz with my condition. Oh my god. How do we want to do this? Do we want to just do a dump or like a slow drizz? I would say a slow drizz considering ready to be impregnated. I'm ready to receive. So like we talked about, I, I think a nice little drizzle will be. Okay. Slow drizz, very sensual. I should have taken you to dinner first, huh? Listen, I'm a modern woman. I don't need dinner. I have a job. I'm kidding, I would literally accept free food from anyone. So I'm gonna work it through the hair and I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, excellent. This is actually like smelling not terrible. How is it from where you are? It's not terrible. No, it's musky. It is musky. It's musky, it's very masculine. All right, so I think that we should just let this sit now for about 10 minutes. Okay. How is it feeling? I mean, I, I'm feeling liberated. Tasting bull cum, I guess the word bull makes it unusual. I'm just feeling like a woman who just had consensual sex with a bull. And let me tell you, it was pretty dope. So now that we waited the 10 minutes, I'm now going to rinse you out with cool water. It's gonna lock in all that jism we just put in there. Lock that cum in. So next step, we're gonna blow dry and style. Oh my gosh, she's like a Barbie yeah, doll now. I know. Look at that shine. Oh, this is literally <laughs> an upgrade, high I, five. Oh, Success. So did it hurt? No, like not physically, not spiritually. I feel great, I feel empowered. Also, cum is great for your hair. How often are you supposed to do it? Yeah, wait, how often can I do it? Once a month, I would say. And it's not even that expensive, this is great. How would you rate this out on a scale of one to 10? I mean, I guess I would give it like an eight or a nine. Like I have- Why not a 10? Because bull semen does not taste as good as you would want it to. Let's look at our before and after pictures. Wow, Whoa. looks like someone took his shit on me. <laughs> great. What more could you want? Yeah, so just like, you know, so, put cum in your hair, shit on your face. Was it smelly? It was rank. It was really bad. But I thought they like added some perfumes. Yeah, but like a little bit of Clinique happy on your own shit, it's still shit. Anything plus shit is still shit. Okay, so we're gonna read some comments from the Vitamin IV video from a couple weeks ago. Sean Masterfield, Jeffrey absolutely kills me. Is he an absolute train wreck or does he have his shit 100% together? Who knows? You know what, Sean? I'm just floating here, you know? Every breath we take is a new experience, Sean. Buy a crystal, Sean. Get a crystal. Get a crystal, Sean. A jade crystal and start sticking it up your ass. And call your mommy. Okay, I got one too. I wanted to address something back from the blood facial treatment. Alondra Strother said, are we not gonna talk about the boogers in her nose that are completely exposed? Okay, we can talk about Listen, the boogers. Listen, I saw those Listen, boogers. We all saw I them. I saw those For boogers. For some reason, no one told me. Mm -hmm. So Alondra and all 603 people who upvoted her comment, I don't think oh. the answer to that question. Oh. Sometimes you're sick and oh. everyone close to you just betrays oh. you and you don't know what to do, oh. Alondra, okay? Stop DM me, Alondra. You stay out of there. Okay, so I wanted to check in with you after your vitamin IV. Okay. How are you feeling? I was bloated. You're I was bloated. I got fucking bloated. I mean, I dropped it, and I feel like I lost some weight. So I mean, that was cool, but it was still just like I felt thick. 